Hello, I'm doing this video because I really uh, I saw this art style and I quite like it. It's called Grime. It's one of my favourites. Uh, I really like it, and I'm just gonna give you a walkthrough of how I do it. Um, there's gonna be a lot of cuts because it because I like to take my time on this, but uh, you'll you'll be able to see. Uh, so the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur the background gonna snap to when I've done that. I'm back now and I've got the background blurred out. Our next step is gonna be to create an outline. I'll, I'll show you the brush because I'll make it easier. So you wanna have 100% hardness, this brush, and then our brush settings, fairly straightforward. Shape dynamics, if you have a pen with pen pressure, do that. If you don't, use fade. And set it to about 100 so it fades about that often, okay? Yeah, and I'll cut to. Well, all you want to do is is just draw an outline, and I'll cut to when I've done that. Okay, I've got my outline done, and you just want to add little flicks and ticks to give it that dripping effect. Our next step would be do an outline of the eyes, and for this, I recommend um, putting off fade unless you have pen pressure. Then just keep it even pressure. I'm just gonna do an outline of the eyes, and like, maybe do a few lines, like maybe there. Obviously, you're going to use a smaller brush because this is smaller eyes. Okay, I'll cut to when I've done that. Okay, if if you're doing a person or anything that has eyebrows, you'd want to um, just like do that and fill it in. But obviously, this is a dog. This is my dog when it's a puppy. And he doesn't have eyebrows. So what you're going to do in this case is also if they had a mouse, you're going to want to do the outline of a mouth. Um, and I add little details in, maybe to show it's a bit aged, maybe like cracked lips or I don't know, like cuts in the lips, I guess. But it's really up to you. So I'll, so our next step with this one is going to be to add this line, which I'll do on camera because it won't take too long. Actually, I want to add a little fade to that. I think that'll look cool if I do. Okay, yeah, that's better. And our next step after that would be to fill in these nostrils. I'm not going to want fade for this. Fill in these nostrils and do like a rough, like, uh, it's hard to explain, so I'll just show you. But you're going to want to like do something like that. Uh, look up Grime Art for your inspiration. Also, um, if you turn down the fade, it reduces it. So at 50, it's going to start fading a lot quicker than it will at 100, just to let you know. Okay, I'll cut to when I've done this step. Okay, now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add little like bags to the eyes. like You know, something like that. Um, also, you might notice that this, um, this brush is smaller than that. That's because this is kind of closer. And that's, so that's why. So you just want to add a little bag like that. Obviously, I don't like that one. I want to make it look a bit better. But this part shouldn't take too long. Just make sure that matches the contours of the face or nose or something. Okay, I like that. And then our next step, this is going to be probably the most time-consuming step that you will have to do. And that will be to add little drips to it so i'll do a few uh on camera for you just so you can get ideas of like what you can do with them so if just imagine it's like paint or and you want to set your fade setting to higher if you want to do bigger drips i'd say 100 is good for me good neutral ground okay so you're going to want to do stuff like that and also just don't like do that because it won't work like if you just do that, you don't want to be cutting off anything. You want to make it look slightly natural, but still make it look cartoony. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's all about the balance of those two, I'd guess. So I'll, uh, I'll I'll just do a few more. Maybe you can, oops. Maybe you can do a tall one. Maybe a little one here, and I totally feel like Bob Ross saying this. 
and then just add little dots and smaller bubbles and when you're so just zoom out or when you think zoom out and when you think you have it done well then do uh, little dots and if you've done them then just I'll show you the next step when I cut to it okay I'm gonna cut to when I have to do this okay it should be starting to look like this uh, I quite like the look of this I think it's gonna go nicely and then our next step I've been as I've been stupid I've been very oh my I I was drawing on my background layer okay it's fixable it's fixable we can just undo that it's fine it's completely fine okay if you've if you've been like me and been stupid just file uh, place embedded um, and just find find the picture that you had like it's just this is fine we can deal with this oh no 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 it's not good Okay, I think it's in my downloads. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We sorted it. It's all good. Okay. <sighs> that was close. Okay, our next step is going to be add whites to these eyes. Okay, so just add a layer, slap it down there, you want it in between these two, um, switch this to white, zoom in, and, uh, oh, hmm, okay, so what you're going to want to do, it's because I've been a doo-doo and messed this up. I'm going to have to be very careful when I'm doing this. But. Never mind. Wait, actually. It's fine. Because I, I, I've i got another. I, I've got a test piece of this. Which I can just show by um, removing the layers. When they happen. Okay, so now that you've got all oh, those whites are intruding. So you just want to make sure that you keep your lines bold. And you maintain it going well. So I'll cut to when I have my the white eyes. Okay, I've actually gone two steps ahead. So what you want to do when you have your um, eye whites is you want to draw these lines in the eye bags that we did earlier. So you've got your whites of the eyes. You've got your drippy drips. Okay. And our next step, it's a big one, it's going to be, it's not a big one, um, to just colour these in, in your secondary colour. So you can have two or three colours. You can have lips, no, so you have, so you need your eye colour, black, that we won't count that because everyone's going to use black. So eye colour, eye bag colour, if you're doing eye bags, mouth colour, I can't do a mouth colour, and um, that main colour, so... Oops. So um, all these, so the background, so like the main face color. So that's like four colors. Um, generally, you're going to want to do white. So I've I've only had to use two colors. So next, what you're going to want to do, is just add the blue. So I've got that now. Oops. The green. Sorry. Yeah, the green. So we've got that. And then what we can do from there is we can scribble in the blue. So this is um, so at this stage you could finish it. This is one stage where you can just go away, done, you're happy, it's all good. Or you can add extra detail and add some shading and highlighting. So what you, so this is where I finish it. So what you're going to want to do because um, the reason I finish it here is because I like that comic book style where it looks unrealistic and it just looks completely non-real but they still have an eye for detail and they still care about um, 
the tiny bits of detail. So what you're going to want to do is just on your drips and where the shadows would be, just um, draw in black and select soft light, not hard, not hard light, not vivid light, not overlay, soft light. Okay. And then you're just going to draw in the shadows. And then when you want to do these highlights that I've got, oh, sorry, I should probably explain where to do shadows. So you want to do it around the eyes, around there, the mouth, around every, most drips. And then you press X, oh, X, X, okay, never mind, it's not working. So then you get, uh, you swap these around to get the white, and then white add highlights. So that's where you want to do highlights, you want to highlight the drips as well, okay? And you want to add highlights to the mouth. I need to add um, more highlights to the nose, actually, because that's important. So I just want to add a swoosh here, a swoosh here, a swoosh here. And also, you might not be able to notice it, but like highlight these parts and add uh, shadows to these parts as well. So it just really makes it look more less 2D. If unless you want 2d look so then you've got yourself a finished grime art piece if you like it good